Well, good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is if you're short on time, you want to get a lot of bang for your buck. That's what compound exercises do. So our format's going to be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds to transition. Make sure you have a variety of dumbbells handy for the workout today. We'll start with a nice little warm up, and I'll end with a cool down. But 30 minutes of active movement time. Are you ready to move daily? Me too. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with feet shoulder width apart, squat, overhead reach. This is one of my favorite types of workout, especially just gives you such good bang for your buck with everything working at once. So, so good if you are short on time or just, you know, maybe you don't have energy for a full one hour. This is great. Take it wide, low and open here. Five more here. All right, let's reach across the body. And the combinations are endless, aren't they? You could just, you could pair anything <laughs> together. I'm just always amazed that we can still come up with new exercises. Reach up and over after all this time. There must be thousands of exercises. I'm amazed. Anyway, four, three, two, one, let's do some shoulder circles right here too, okay? Because when we do compound, lots of times it's lower body, obviously paired with upper body, a lot of shoulders. Switch directions. Okay, can we just take it super wide? I'm just gonna do a nice little side lunge, lengthen in through that inner thigh here as I do have some side lunges coming up today. Side to side here. That's it, if you can't get all the way down, just stay up a little higher, that's fine. One more each side. And over here, good. Okay, take it to the center, round up through the back, roll those shoulders back, and let's touch hand to opposite toe. Stretch it in the hamstring. Circle right here, big stretch. Switch directions. Okay, and take it feet shoulder width apart, squat and reach. Let's come up to your tiptoes, warm up the calves a bit there. One more here, and we'll get it started. Five more. Three, two, and right here. Okay, water BCAAs, dumbbells handy, and let's start. We're starting here with a squat abduction press. I'm gonna grab my eight pound dumbbell, feet shoulder width, I'm gonna squat, abduct that leg, and press my opposite hand at the same time. Okay, I'll call halfway. Here we go. So, feet shoulder width apart, press, up, and abduction at the same time. You can put your hand out to the side for a little balance if you like, a little counterbalance. Reach your hips back. One more this side. Good, go ahead and switch and move. And up. Okay, I'm gonna do a stationary lunge 
bent arm lateral, come halfway on here, palms are up, you're gonna go low, up and behind the head, ready? So, palms face the ceiling, here we go, low and up. It's like your dumbbells create a circle, okay? Bottom touches almost, and then the top at the top here. Elbows are high, right behind the head. Okay, switch legs here, and drop. to a lateral lunge with a front raise. We'll stay on the same side and then we'll switch legs, okay? So shoulders back, catch your breath, reach your butt back, here we go. And pop, same leg, and here. I'm just holding my fives here, because it's uh, 45 seconds of a shoulder raise, and that's good for me here. Hip here. All right, last one on this side. Good, switch sides and work. Last year. All right, moving back to the top. Squat abduction press. Whew. That got the heart rate up. All right, I'll call halfway. Here we go. Blow and press. side and switch. Here we go. Okay, move to that stationary lunge. Behind the head lateral. One behind, palms are up, stick your chest out. And behind the head, low. That's it. See how high my elbows are coming? All right, switch legs. Here we go, and down. Nice. All right, let's go to that lateral lunge front. See storm clouds over there. It's too bad. Long weekend in storms. <laughs> There you go. <sighs> Hoping for sun. Here we go, lateral lunge, front raise, and work. Same side. I'm not moving quickly on this one. I want good form with my lunge. Last one on this side. Switch. Here we go. Okay, one more round. Whew. 
really is amazing how the heart rate gets up, isn't it? Okay, squat press, have doubt. Last here, switch hands. Here we go. Other leg. Okay, last one in this circuit, then a little water break. And the next whole circuit is gonna be down towards the ground, okay? So get ready for that. All right, lateral lunge, front raise, let's work. Of squatting on that one leg. Last one on this side. All right, switch and work. Pop it up. Last here. Nice, okay, water if you need, and then join me on the ground. Okay, you're gonna do a chest press and a single leg glute thrust. So I'm gonna just do an elevated leg thrust. My foot's gonna just camp out up on one of my dumbbells, just like that. If you don't have a hex dumbbell, probably don't do this. Um, and you can just do it on the floor. Otherwise, as I push up, my one leg is going to go to the ceiling and I'm going to glute thrust the one side as I do a chest press. So I'll call halfway on the foot. Ready, get into position. I'm lifting with my 15s here. Foot is on my dumbbell and push down and push. Good. Really squeezing that glute at the top. Again, if you're like, I hate that combo. <laughs> do it from the floor or just do the chest press, okay? But that glute, I feel it. Wow, the okay, switch legs and work up and down. Yeah, it's good. We're gonna do a kneeling glute thrust coming up next with the overhead press. So Grab your heaviest weight. Mine's over there, so I'm just gonna do it with a 15 to start here, and then maybe two. You're gonna hold it here. We're gonna sit back. Sit up and press overhead. Keep your tummy tight. So back and press. Really have a good hold on that dumbbell, please. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Okay, this is a little glute action, a little shoulder. Tummy 
knee is tight and press. Good, 10 more seconds here. Okay, you're gonna do a plank, reverse fly tricep kickback. So I'm in plank, rounded arm, I'm gonna do a fly, do a kickback. I'll call halfway. You can do this from the knees to modify. Rounded arm, kick, tricep. Rounded arm, kick, tricep. I'm using my eight. One more this side, up and switch sides, here we go. You wanna bring your arm back and bend it right away. Nice, put your dumbbell there, get ready to put your foot on it. Chest press, whew, that was good. Okay, one foot on your dumbbell, chest press, and single leg glute thrust. And up, down, up, good. Press over your chest, not your neck. All right, go ahead and switch legs. Keep it going, up and down. All right, let's come to kneeling. I wasn't sure if I'd really feel that with the 15s, because normally I lift heavier, but my pace is really rapid. I think I got like 20 presses in, so I'm just feeling that. Here we go. Sit back here. Watch your face press. Straight up there. Good. Squeeze those glutes. Huh. 
Okay, yeah, I got 23 reps in, so that's, that's good. Okay, last one in this circuit. Let's get into that reverse fly kick back. Holy arms, we're feeling it. Here we go, in plank. Rounded, bent, kick, and flex. Remember, you can drop a knee if it's too much strain on your palm. All right, go ahead and switch sides and work. in the same side I'll call halfway ready so curtsy here front press there shoulders are low again I put my five pound dumbbells drop that back knee nice and low mine is touching the mat do what you can there shoulders back last one on this side good go ahead and switch Push-up is next. A little squat jump at the top. Last here. <laughs> Whoops. Snippy canoe sometimes. Okay, inchworm all the way down. Down, 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 down. You're gonna do a push-up. Walk it back up. Give me a squat jump at the top. Here we go. Modify from your knees here on your push-up and a squat at the top instead, okay? Oh 
almost there. All right, back to your curtsy. Woo! What I love is there's like that one squat jump. That's all we had for jumpy cardio, and I'm totally sweating. Hold the hands here, curtsy, press here, same side, and low. Muscle getting activated here. Switch legs and down and up. Shoulders are low. Stick your chest out. Okay, let's go to that inchworm. Push up, jump. Knees or toes for your push up. You're not getting that many in though, so try from your toes if you can. See, the wider you put them, the more difficult you're fighting gravity. Good. 
Okay, let's go to that inchworm. Push up, pop. Here we go. Nice. Woo. Okay, boat rocker. Let's work. I'm gonna grab my eight. Wide and narrow presses. Here we go. On this boat rocker, I'm trying just to bring my legs to 45 degrees, not 90, okay? I wanna use my abs, not all momentum to get up. All right, switch hands. Here we go. That wide is harder, that wide hold. Okay, one more exercise. Ha. Plie wide press. Check it out there. Okay, let's make this feel like work. Got my eights. Take it wide. Let's work. seconds. Push, push. Try not to stop. Come on. In three, two, one, and done. Ha! Ah, you move daily in your compound 30-minute workout. Thanks for joining. Join me for a stretch if you can. Check the end to see what workout I recommend for tomorrow. Well, that was just lovely, wasn't it? Not bad at all. Feet are wider than shoulder width. Let's come into this wonderful stretch here. Push your thumb toward the ceiling. Getting a little glute, chest, biceps here. Oh, I like that quite a bit. Switch directions and reach. Oh yeah. My, um, like I had hiked, I'd done a cardio hit. My hoppy jumpy muscles just did not want to do any hopping or jumping. I want to just strength and these compound stand up, round through the back. They they're so good. What uh, you know for 30 minutes you can burn upwards of 275, maybe even 300 calories. It depends on your intensity, how many calories you burn, your age, your monitor. For goodness sakes, let's bring our hand behind the back, tilt the neck, right? Like I'm not even wearing a heart rate monitor like the chest band, so it's not going to be as accurate on my wrist as it would be if I actually had that on. Switch sides. So, you know, it's, it's an average is what you're basically trying to do. And intensity makes a big difference. If you're lifting heavier and your heart rate jacks up higher, you're gonna burn more calories. Tricep stretch here. Right, if you're lifting lighter but more rapidly, you could also burn more calories because of the speed. So those things are all the variables that help you increase or decrease your caloric expenditure. Oh yeah. Whew. But it is important to have the proper fuel to make sure that you're not running on empty and to make sure that you're not burning muscle as your fuel. 
right? Around here again. Um, one of my clients this morning, she had her last meal at three yesterday. Let's go heel up here and hinge forward. And she didn't eat anything with carbohydrates yesterday. <laughs> and then she came to work out this morning and she was gassed. She could not do it. She's like, I don't know why I'm so tired. So then I asked her, did you eat? Did you have a good sleep? All the variables that are important. She, and then she told me what she ate. I'm like, no wonder you're gassed. Like it, to do, like specifically to do strength workouts, you're gonna need some fuel in the tank, you know? You need some glycogen in the cells to burn. Uh, you could be burning fat as fuel. Come here, like ketos, ket uh, ketones as, as your fuel source. And if you've done a keto diet, that's what you're burning as fuel. Um, but your body takes a while to get used to that sort of uh, fuel source. Glycogen from carbohydrates is an instantaneous fuel source. It's in the cells, it's ready and available for you to use. And um, it gives you instantaneous energy. So it's a great way to, to fuel your workouts is to ensure that you have those complex carbohydrates that are you know, um, giving you lots of micronutrients and vitamins and minerals as well. Um, even a piece of fruit, it's high in fiber, like an apple or banana, pre-workout can give you a lot of energy and make that easily available to you and your body. Maybe half an hour before, an hour beforehand is good. All right, thanks for moving with me. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And if you want to work out for tomorrow, I recommend this one here. Hey, and if you want to support this channel and me, Move Daily Fitness, we're gonna try and build this channel a little bit more, get new equipment, go ahead and subscribe on Patreon, some exclusive workouts over there for my members. All right, thanks, see you in the next workout.